What's going on everybody? How's everybody doing out there? Well, today I'm in Northeast Pennsylvania at the Lakeshore Rail Museum. It's only open on weekends. I'm here on a Monday. So we're going to take a walk around, see what they got sitting around outside. I've already caught one train. It's a great location. So let's take a look. We'll start here with this beautiful signal. We'll take a walk around the depot. And then we'll look at all the beautiful rolling stock and engines they got sitting here. Got a nice collection of switch stands. Some great Northern Empire Builder coaches sitting here. Sounds like another train coming behind me. Got a nice selection of hand carts and baggage carts around the front of the depot. This kind of resembles the one in Conneaut, Pennsylvania, the old New York Central depot that they had. Burlington Railway Express Agency. So would that be a baggage car or a mail car? You guys would know better. Nice display of a switchman's tower. Now, as we are close to Lake Erie, there were harbors, and there is no information on this, but I believe this was on the docks in that arm that's right there. It would be in between rail cars, and that arm would come down and push rail cars into position for unloading, maybe ore or coal. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments, but I believe that's what this locomotive is. It's a car pusher. So it's sitting on narrow gauge tracks. <clears throat> and there's another arm on this side where it would shove or push the ore cars or coal cars, whichever it was. So a little electric shunting motor. You can see the electrics underneath. Yeah, these are pretty cool. Now this locomotive is awesome. It's double-ended, kind of like a GG1. And I'm not sure what this is. It's still pretty awesome. If anybody knows, like I said, put it in the comments. Got a nice wooden box car. Oh, this looks, oh, is this a reefer maybe? There's a beautiful old center cab. This thing's gorgeous. Look at the wheel sets on these bad boy. Ooh. An orange box car back there is an old Milwaukee road. It's a nice Pullman car right here. It's an old signal. On down to this passenger car. It says Central Park on the side. I like the old tank cars like this, all riveted together, panel by panel. Beautiful wooden caboose right next to a Conrail transfer caboose. We've got a derailer here on display. Couple little tiny switching engines. The little Plymouth is cool. Here's another great looking center cab switcher. Now we'll take you a walk down the line of these beautiful locomotives sitting down here. Let's take a walk.
So we'll start right here, this beautiful General Electric. Ain't a purdy. Now there's an awesome track speeder. It's uh got a pickup bed on it. Now this beauty right here, I can tell you what it is. It's a B30-7. Because it's written on the cab. I cheated. <laughs> You know me, I'm not good at the nomenclature or identifications, but they're awesome to look at. D8-32B. Need your help on this one. All right, guys, what is it? A little rounded nose up there is kind of cool. This one is a U36-B. It is tagged with the CSX Police. That way you can see it's faded out. This one's pretty cool. Let me get a front nose shot of it. That little snub nose on there is kind of cool. This one's pretty. And at the end of the line, we got a couple more little switchers, another center cab. This one's pretty interesting. I've not seen one of them. And this little beauty is a Whitcomb switcher. I always like these ones too. They remind me of the Plymouth, but this one's a Whitcomb. And I like this little box right behind it, this little cab. Cab locos are pretty cool. And then we got this puppy. The Illuminating Company, number six. That's a ginormous cab on that thing. Let's take a look at the front. This one's very interesting. I wanted to get another shot of this U36. This side's not as uh, hit by the sun as much. And the uh, police sticker is towards the front on this side it's a good looking loco one more passenger car something attached to it let's go take a look at it well that's very interesting it's a cabless Plymouth should be a cab on that thing but yeah it's a little Plymouth switcher or shunter some people call them but yeah it's missing the cab still kind of neat let's see the controls on it you know, got a lot of missing parts. Still pretty neat. Let's go take a look at that caboose. They've got an old mechanical reefer sitting here. Your refrigeration was right back there in there. Let's see if we can peek in through the screen. Can't really see much. The mechanicals for the refrigeration is still in there. And here's that little red caboose. Old wooden. Got some rot to it. Kind of to be expected, actually. This one's still salvageable. Bet you the inside looks good. Let's see if we can peek in the window. Yeah, not too bad. Inside's still decent. Got some holes in the roof, but it's salvageable. Still digging on this cab locomotive. That's awesome. Well, this was a fantastic stop. Northeast Pennsylvania at the Lakeshore Railroad Museum. Hope you guys enjoyed the little locos I showed you. Some of you guys will know exactly what they are. Leave them in the comments. But smash that like button. It helps a lot. Watch another video. It helps the channel. All right. Until then, like, share, subscribe. Don't cost nothing. Hit that button. That'd be out.